uh, webinar for WIMS for CRM. My name is Glenn Kinsler, and I'm joined by my colleague Brandon Hernandez. And today we're going to be doing a general overview of the solution. A uh, quick agenda for today. Here are some of the things we'll cover. I'm going to start with a little bit of background information about Doobie Solutions. Uh, talk about the solution itself. What is WIMS for CRM? Uh, how you can expect to benefit from, from the solution. And then we'll dive right into the demonstration, which Brandon will lead. We'll talk about stocking locations and bins, inventory products, vendors, and how users can automate a lot of uh, internal processes, including replenishment. And then there will be some time at the end for uh, Q&A. Please feel free to use your questions pane uh, on your whim, excuse me, on your uh, GoToWebinar uh, pane there. So a little bit about 2B Solutions. We were founded in 2003. We're coming up on 12 years old. Uh, and we specialize in two things. Those are inventory and asset management solutions, and also Microsoft Dynamics CRM solutions. We have over a 1,000 customers in 14 different countries. And we have a deep knowledge and experience in inventory uh, management and system integrations. We are a Microsoft Silver partner in both customer relationship management and devices and deployment. And we are a member of the Apple Business Consultants Network. Why would you want to go with WIMS for CRM? Well, first of all, if you're already using CRM, this is a way to further leverage your investment in the platform. No need to try to integrate with something else or migrate data to another system. You can do it all from within CRM. Uh, you can also just reduce the chaos that you may have within your organization. We have tried to find make it easy to find the critical information that you need uh, with just a few clicks. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to make better informed purchasing decisions and hopefully that will lead to uh, cost, sa cost, cost savings in the long run. And hopefully too you can save time by automating a lot of standard supply chain processes. It's more affordable than a number of other systems out there on, on the market uh, and it's very, uh, the, it, uh, uh, very customizable as well, uh, a number of different ways to deploy it, uh, and there's also an integrated mobile app as well. So what is WIMS for CRM? Well, it's an inventory management solution built on the dynamic CRM platform. Uh, it works for both on-premise and CRM online deployments. Uh, and, it, and it's a managed solution that is imported into an existing CRM environment. It helps you manage and automate uh, supply chain activities across multiple stocking locations, and you get to leverage the built-in drop-down, excuse me, uh, drill-down uh, charts and reporting capabilities, uh, part of Dynamic CRM, and it really gives you very detailed visibility and tracking of all transactions uh, within your warehouse. So without any further ado, uh, I will go ahead and turn over uh, to Brandon for the demo, but please feel free to go ahead uh, and start asking your questions now in the questions pane. Brandon, it's all yours. All right, thanks, Glenn. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, pull up the WIMS system here. So the core of WIMS is something we like to call stocking locations. Stocking locations represent the physical warehouses that you store inventory in. Uh, this can be either large uh, warehouse locations, uh, such as a primary redistribution center and then satellite stores, or something more mobile. Uh, as you can see here, we have examples for mobile trucks uh, for sales and, and retail in that kind of venue. Uh, each stocking location is then uh, referenced whenever you have new item records coming in or new uh, transactions, such as uh, incoming receivers or outgoing sales orders, uh, or even uh, interlocation transfers. They can all be tied back to one stocking location, and that gives you a nice, easy reference point for any inventory. For those of you familiar uh, with CRM and how they tend to do things, we've built off of the out-of-the-box product entity. So out-of-the-box product gives you uh, a, wide array of, a wide array of features, such as a unique product identification, uh, structures for hierarchy, uh, so you can have product families. Uh, this is uh, also referred to as gridded items uh, in other industries. So all of that comes out of the box uh, with CRM, including some uh, simple visibility such as hierarchy view, so you can really see uh, what products are in a family and how they relate to other products in your inventory. 
building off of this and including the stocking locations we just covered, we introduce a new entity called inventory products. So this represents the products uh, by location in your warehouses. Uh, it's easy to sort by either stocking location and get a by location view of what you have or uh, by product or quantity on hand. All these views, uh, as Glenn mentioned earlier, are highly customizable and can be tailored to suit your industry-specific needs. If we drill into one of these records, you can see, let's see, we'll pick a good one here. Uh, let's go to stock location one and pick something interesting, something technological. Bear with me one moment as we scroll down. We've got a lot of inventory in this location. I will just go to something simple here. Uh, we do offer detailed information uh, on any inventory product. That uh, means real-time quantity on hand, available and committed numbers, as well as quantity breakdowns by module. So that means you can see at any given point in time how much of a given item is on a purchase order waiting to be resupplied, on a receiver uh, in your loading dock waiting to be put away, or on an order waiting to be picked, packed, and then shipped out of the warehouse. We also track transfers both in and out of uh, individual warehouses or uh, as they move between places on a shelf. We also support maximum and minimum quantities for a given item. This uh, will be used in the automatic replenishment uh, process that we mentioned at the start of the presentation so that when an item gets below a given quantity you can automatically generate purchase orders uh, and then kick off that replenishment process without having to do anything manually. We'll go into this uh, process a bit more in depth on the next webinar. In addition to this, as I mentioned, uh, you can track transfers both uh, between locations and to a place on your shelf. We've introduced a bin entity. Bins are tied to a specific stocking location and allow you to basically build out your physical warehouse in the WIMS environment. Uh, it, it's very easy to add a new bin and you can track both uh, shelf, row, or aisle settings very, very easily. For a brief overview of bins, we can just open up a sample one here for uh, stocking location warehouse one. And you can see if there was any specific uh, inventory product stored there, that is represented as well as the current quantity and maximum quantity in any given bin. In addition to inventory and stocking locations, we've also added vendor and vendor product support. So it's uh, all very, very common for one product to be sold by possibly multiple uh, suppliers, and it's important for you to be able to see and know what suppliers is going to give you that product for the best price. By creating a simple header record with a, a vendor number, a name, and possibly some detailed contact information, you can then associate specific products with specific vendors and then track their cost accordingly. Both last cost and average cost are supported uh, out of the box. Average cost, of course, being the cost over time as you receive shipments uh, from a given vendor. Uh, we also allow for automatic pricing rules to be set uh, with vendors and vendor products. Uh, if you're doing the automatic uh, repurchasing that we'll get into in the next webinar, you can set rules uh, to pick either vendors that you have a strong relationship with or vendors that might offer that product for the lowest possible cost at a given time. We also like to emphasize that vendors do not need to be simply a standalone or a placeholder record, but can also be integrated into the wider base of CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and we think you can also have vendor relationship management. Any of the out-of-the-box features, uh, so Glenn mentioned, such as charts, uh, reporting, also come with uh, mail marketing options, uh, contacts and mailing lists, and everything else that you're familiar with in CRM, and this can be applied to vendors as well. We offer automated, automated processes for creating both inventory and vendor product records and allow you tra to track those down to even the serial number uh, if that's uh, the type of item that you're looking at. Things like uh, phones, laptops, uh, furniture, or office, or uh, excuse me, factory equipment are often tracked down to the individual serial number and it's important to know uh, what serial numbers you have on hand and for things like uh, warranty and maintenance, as we can see here, we provide easy-to-use fields uh, for that. 
as you can see, there's a wide uh, variety of information associated with every serial number. So regardless of what level you want to start piecing your information out at, whether it's uh, what inventory do I have in one given location, in a given bin, or specific breakdowns by serial number or some other uh, internal metric, it's very, very easy to slice and dice that information in WIMS. We also have created a few uh, temporary dashboards. Uh, this is a replenishment dashboard that we'll get into a bit more in depth in the next webinar, but you can see here uh, it shows any inventory product by location that's currently low stocked, as well as open purchase orders and receivers. We also offer uh, overviews of all your current products, uh, both active and inactive, and any inventory products or vendor products you may have. As you can see here, any of these can, can contain multiple views. So any of you familiar with CRM uh, know that you can create custom views for whatever information or whatever filtering uh, applies to not only your industry, but your specific job role as well. So you could have one overview for perhaps a warehouse manager and then a more drilled down view for a product line uh, employee or a floor employee. So that's a, a basic high level view of uh, what we try to offer with WIMS. Uh, the final piece of the puzzle we offer is a uh, simple configuration file. This is a basic setting that you can use to toggle some of the primary functionality of WIMS to make it as complex or as simple as you need. Uh, as you can see, uh, the bin entity can be turned on and off depending on what level of detail you track your uh, inventory at today. And then if perhaps you want to graduate to a more detailed tracking system, you can turn it on at a later date and then start taking advantage of those functionality. Uh, we also offer a few other uh, things that we'll cover in later webinars. Uh, you can read the screen here to get a general idea. Uh, and then we also offer mobile settings integrated into the same file, making it simple to have one common location to configure your entire system and then have those changes pushed out across any users in your organization or any mobile devices that may be uh, interfacing as well. All right, well, that pretty much uh, sums up the basic overview and demo uh, we were looking to cover today. Uh, Glenn, I'll pass it back to you to, uh, for Q&A and anything else we might want to cover. Okay, great job, Brandon. Thank you very much for that. Um, I think we'll stop the recording now and uh, get into Q&A. So.